Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the 109th review of the Soda Pop playlist. That playlist and another review from it will pop up on screen in the last 20 seconds of this video. Anyone that would be interested in making a small one time donation to the channel for the channel's core content, there is a PayPal link in the description area of this video and all videos as of late. So for this one, we are going to a Hanks product and one that I've been looking forward to, partly because I'd heard about it and was interested but didn't expect I'd see it right away and then I accidentally, by chance, came across it. So this is Hanks Mexicola in a 12 ounce clear glass bottle. This is one of Hank's Naturals. So recently, the brand Hank's has come out with a sub-brand within the larger scheme of things, and it's Hank's Naturals. There's only four products in this product line, and I wasn't expecting to see any of them as quickly as this. So I'm sort of excited about that. Uh, basically, what you will see with the labeling and whatnot, they're not using any artificial flavors or colors, which is interesting because this is looking pretty good considering the glass is clear and we can already see the product. So we're going to take it over to the desk, take a closer look at the packaging, and then we will bring it back up top so I can let you know what I think. Back in a moment. And here we are, and that is the quickly defogging glass, so I will try to get things moving along. So you have a Hanks cap. It is slightly altered, but basically the same layout as their others. All right. There is a top sticker just branding the naturals. As you can see, it is clear glass. That is the product you're seeing. It is a 12 fluid ounce glass, which is 355 milliliters for those overseas. Going to the back, so this is the third sticker. If you want to pause for nutritional information. And that is a very short ingredients list. With that, we will bring this back up top because I want to know. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is going to be twist off. I do have the bottle opener just in case, but yeah. Wow. As I was expecting and why I was anxious to do this, I purposely delayed this review a couple of weeks because I had just done a Mexicola at the time. It has a very sweet cola scent coming off of it. Get this out. It's got a pretty high degree of carbonation. It smells as good and as strong off the wider opening. Okay. Now, I did mean to see, and of course I did not. This does have caffeine in it. All right. I did not really make note of that or bring attention to it. I'm guessing it will probably be lower than mainline sodas, but caffeine is listed at on the ingredients list as the last ingredient. All right, so let's give this a try. Still smells as strong and good. Okay. It somewhat amazes me for a country that is so in many ways dysfunctional and just can't pull it together and hasn't been able to for over a hundred years, if not more, 
that Mexico has nailed repeatedly where the idea of Mexican cola has been nailed to a point. Now, this is a product of the USA, obviously. But how did they get it so right with cola? Like, did, <laughs> at what point did our major companies go off the highway, off the reservation, and Mexico was like, no, nah, you know what? We're just going to stay right here. We're, we're good. We're, we're just going to keep doing it the way it was done. This is excellent. As always. Um, now, with the exception of the Coca-Cola product, these Mexicola products I have reviewed are products of the U.S. Which, at first, you're like, okay, so it's not really Mexico, it's us. No, it's us trying to imitate Mexico. And that should be sort of unsettling to you in its own right. Um... They, they, they're just superior prod. They're as far as cola flavor goes. Products coming out of Mexico and those that are fashioned like the ones in Mexico, they're just superior colas. You know, I'm not going to speak to the caffeine level in this. I'm guessing it's probably fairly low, but in general. At some point, I'm not saying American products didn't have it right at some point in the past. For reasons that probably have to do with money, they moved away from that. And now you have to search out stuff like this. If you see this, it doesn't even, even though it's like, no preservatives and natural and whatnot. It doesn't even taste washed out, which was the only pause I thought, uh, maybe this could be, that That was the only way I saw this possibly being a disappointment. But it's not, it's not washed out. Um, I have not come across a Mexicola or Mexican cola yet by any company, whether in Mexico or usually more often in the United States, that isn't a superior by far cola flavor uh, to the point where it's almost like, man, I, I almost wish <laughs> they make these zero sugar because I couldn't be drinking these all day out in the heat. Um, if you see this, then now there are four in this product line. And it's it's sort of stand out because Hanks has been around for well over in bottles in stores well over 25 years now. But they've always had the one product line. It's an extensive line, but they never deviated from that line. And then this popped up. There's four of them. I cannot really think of them offhand. I sort of can remember two, but I'm not quite sure if I have it right. You can see it at their website. But if you see this one and you like cola, you want to pick it up. All right. Carbonation is a little higher than I normally like, personally myself. But with the flavor of this, it gets a pass. All right. So Hank's. Naturals, Mexicola. I am the Suntai de Pachu guy. I do thank you all for watching. As always, do take care of yourselves and God bless.